modern age MCQs, unit 14, electromagnetic induction, part 1. The flux linkage is with two loops of a coil is 10 paper. If the number of loops decreases to 5, then the flux linkages will be option A. 10 paper, option B, 12 paper, option C, 15 paper, option B, 25 paper. The key is 25 paper. Therefore, the correct option is D. Reason. The flux linkages with N loops is N into 5, where 5 is the flux. Therefore, the 1 flux linkages with two loops is equal to 10 Weber. Second, flux linkages with the one loop is equal to 10 divided by 2, which is equal to 5 Weber. Third, flux linkages with the five loops is equal to 5 into 5, which is equal to 25 Weber. Hence, flux linkages with five loops is 25 Weber. A change in magnetic flux induces EMF across a conductor was discovered by option A Coulomb, option B Faraday, option C Ampere, option D Gauss. The key is Faraday. Therefore, the correct option is B. Reason. Michael Faraday in 1931 discovered experimentally that a change in magnetic flux induces EMF across a conductor. Hence, the EMF across a conductor was discovered by Faraday. A flux changes from 5-1 to 5-2 in interval delta T is equal to T1 minus T2 in n terms of a coil and induces emf option a uh, n delta phi 1 divided by delta t b n delta phi divided by delta t c n delta phi 2 divided by delta t d n delta t divided by delta phi the key is and delta phi divided by delta t. Therefore, the correct option is B. Reason, according to Faraday, law of electromagnetic induction, the induced EMF in a coil is proportional to the number of turns and the rate of change in magnetic flux. That is, EMF is proportional to N delta into phi 2 minus phi 1 divided by t1 minus t2 or we can write it as emf is equal to k and delta 5 divided by delta t or emf is equal to n delta phi or delta t because k is equal to 1 hence the induced emf in the coil is n delta phi divided by delta t the working of a seismometer is based on an application of option A, Coulomb's law, option B, Faraday's law, option C, Ampere's law, option D, Gauss's law. The key is Faraday's law. Therefore, the correct option is B. Reason. A seismometer is a device used to measure earthquake. It works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. It consists of coils with magnet. The vibrations of magnet with earthquake induces EMF and current pulses in the coils. The pulses are recorded to measure earthquake intensity, etc. Hence, the working of a seismometer is based on an application of Faraday's law. The lens law is a consequence of law of conservation of option A charge, option B momentum, option C mass, option D energy. The, 
the key is energy therefore the correct option is d reason energy can neither be created nor destroyed therefore the mechanical work is done against the opposing force generated by induced current or induced emf this work is converted into electrical energy hence the lens law is a consequence of law of conservation of energy faraday's law in accordance with lens law is option a minus n delta phi into delta t option b minus n delta phi divided by delta t option c minus delta phi divided by n delta t option d minus n delta t divided by delta phi the key is minus n delta phi divided by delta t therefore the correct option is b reason the lens law is stated as the induced emf is in such a direction that it opposes the cause that is producing it for example the cause of induced emf in a coil is the motion of a magnet the induced emf tends to stop the motion of magnet the negative sign in the equation uh, minus n delta phi divided by delta t shows opposing direction of emf to the cause hence the faraday's law in accordance with lenz law is minus n delta phi divided by delta t a conductor of length l is moving with velocity v in a magnetic field b the emf epsilon induced across it is option a epsilon is equal to evl option b epsilon is equal to qbl option c epsilon is equal to bvl option d epsilon is equal to bil the key is epsilon is equal to bvl therefore the correct option is c reason the motion of conductor in a magnetic field converts mechanical power pm into the electrical power pe therefore pe is equal to pm r i into epsilon which is electrical power is equal to force f into v velocity which is the mechanical power r i into epsilon is equal to b i l because the force acting at the conductor is b i l into v r epsilon is equal to b v l because i is cancelled on both sides hence induced emf across the conductor is epsilon is equal to b v l what is induced emf in a conductor 20 cm moving with speed 20 cm per second in a magnetic field to tesla the option a 80 millivolt option b 100 millivolt option c 120 millivolt option d 140 millivolts k is 80 millivolts therefore the correct option is a reason the induced emf is epsilon is equal to b v l r epsilon is equal to 2 into 0.2 into 0.2 where v is, is equal to 0.2 2 meters per second length is equal to 0.2 and magnetic induction is to tesla which is equal to 0.08 volts which can be written as 80 millivolts hence 
the induced diameter in the conductor is 80 millivolts. A conductor of 0.2 ohms and 0.2 meter long is sliding with velocity 0.2 meters per second in a magnetic field to Tesla. The induced current in the conductor will be option A 0.4 ampere, option B 0.3 ampere, option C 0.2 ampere, option D 0.1 ampere. The key is 0.4 ampere. Therefore, the correct option is A. Reason. The induced EMF is epsilon is equal to I into R, R. I is equal to epsilon divided by R, R. I is equal to B, V, L divided by R, where B, V, L is the motional EMF. R, I is equal to 2 into 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.2. Or I is equal to 0.4 ampere. Hence, the induced current in the conductor is 0.4 ampere. A conductor of 0 0.2 ohms and 0 0.2 meter long is sliding with velocity 0 0.2 meters per second in a magnetic field to Tesla. How much electric power is generated? Option A. 0.022 watts option B 0.032 watts option C 0.042 watts option D 0.052 watts the key is 0.032 watts therefore the correct option is B reason the electric power generated is P is equal to epsilon square divided by R, R. P is equal to B, B, L, O square divided by R because epsilon is the motional E, M, F. R, P is equal to 2 into 2 point, 0 0.2 into 0 0.2 whole square divided by 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.032 watts. Hence, the electric power generated is 0 0.032 watts.